All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to quickly add events to your calendar in KOWP. Some of you may need to resort to Tasker to do this. For example, here, uh, the A plus calendar is what I use. I do not have to create a task or task for this. As you can see, I quickly clicked on that and now I can uh, add an event. I can go ahead and add that very fast. And now, as you can see, that has been added to my calendar. Now, depending on what app you have, you may have to resort to Tasker. I'm going to show you some other things as well. Now, this down here has nothing to do with this tutorial. This is the New York Times. That will be coming later on this week. Now, inside of KOWP, I'm going to show you the way or some of the ways that you can automatically add an event to your calendar using just KOWP. For example, uh, let's see, the A-plus calendar. This one right here, I just have my little icon, and it's that one right there. If I go over to its touch, go to launch activity, and what you have to do is look for your calendar app. In this case, I'm looking for a calendar plus, and I know right now it's at the bottom of this uh, list here. And I go to A plus calendar. The one that I want to use is this one right here, the org dot without hat dot a calendar dot edit dot edit edit activity. Now I say that because some of you may need to look for something very similar as well. For example, the another calendar app. I don't use all these calendar apps. I'm just got them up here on my phone so I can show you that this does work. If I come down here or come over here to this one right here, this is Business Calendar 2. So if I go over to its touch, I go to Launch Activity, Business Calendar, and the one I want to pick there is going to be this Edit Activity. So it's the same kind of like name, it's just got the different package name in front of it. So, you know, those are the two that we can do directly from the app. Google Calendar, sometimes Samsung Calendar can get be a little bit funky. And I think, I, I don't know why, but I think it has something to do with the package name and maybe KOW, KOWP confuses it or my phone does or whatever. But there's a workaround for that as well. And one more way that we can get a calendar event to work sometimes is I had this Nova Launcher icon here. So if I click on that one, the Nova Launcher, if I go to Touch, Launch Shortcut now, and what we want to do here is go to activities for Nova Launcher. So if, if you use Nova Launcher, maybe this might work for you as well. What you can do is you can scroll to your particular app. For example, here, I'm just going to scroll to, uh, now I, I don't think the Google Calendar works here. So this one right here, Google Calendar, I don't think it'll work, but the Samsung, the default calendar that comes with Samsung devices, <laughs> if we click on the calendar and we want to do uh, which one do I want to do here? Uh, the edit event activity. So notice we're using, looking for that word edit. All right, so I'm just going to back out of all this stuff, go back to the home screen, and let's kind of go over those three before I show you the tasker one. So A plus calendar, if I click on that, it will let me add an event, and this is my A plus calendar app. Whoops, let me put that back. If I go to the business calendar, that's going to go directly into the business calendar app, so I can add an event there. And if I click on this Nova Launcher one using the activity shortcut thing, uh, notice I, this is the one where I picked my Samsung Android calendar, and that's that app right there. And now we have these other two. So, you know, I've already showed you a way to get the Samsung one to work using Nova Launcher activities. However, uh, these two right here are going to trigger task inside of Tasker. I'm going to click on this Google Calendar icon. And it's going to bring up this. For now, I'm just going to select this one because this is the Google Calendar. And so let's just check that real quick. Click done on that all day, three to four, whatever. And I'm just going to save. And now I have two of those on my calendar. And to verify that, I'm just going to swipe down and I should be seeing two of these. As you can see, we do see two of these on my A plus calendar widget. All right. So how am I getting this to work? Now, if I click on the Samsung one, it's going to bring up the same thing again. So depending on, you know, this may be the workaround for some of you who cannot get your add event thing to work with your calendar app, and it's going to require Tasker. So what, what we have here is these two pieces, they're running the same Tasker task, but once you select your default app to open it, it's going to always work or it should work. So I'm going to go into Tasker and show you what I did here. I have a task that I've called Google Calendar Add Event. You can call it whatever you want. And all we have to do is send intent. And you want to type this inside of the action, android.intent.action.edit. Edit needs to be in all caps. Category is none. Uh, the MIME type is that stuff right there. Type that in. And I think the only other thing you need to change down here is going to be target activity. Everything else you can leave alone. 
And that send intent, believe it or not, I actually have both of those things. Under this little Google Calendar icon, I mean, yeah, it says Google Calendar add event. However, if we go back into KOWP real quick, and now I'm on my Google Calendar icon, so I go to touch. I have it launching a shortcut, and it's going to be a task shortcut, and that task shortcut is none other than Google Calendar Add Event. That's the one that I was picking, and that's the one I just showed you. So a quick task that you can make to uh, hopefully trigger um, that Add Event thing to come up. And just to show you uh, the other one as well to make sure um, we're not confused here, yes, I do have that same task getting triggered here with this Samsung icon. I'm trying to show you multiple ways. Hopefully you can find one of these ways that will work for you. But under Launch Shortcut, Task Shortcut, and I still have the Google Calendar Add Event selected. So I'm really triggering the same task there as I mentioned earlier. However, obviously you, you probably only use one calendar app. I only use one calendar app, but I wanted to show you multiple representations here. So if I click on that uh, little Samsung button, and you know, if I wanted to trigger my Samsung calendar, I would do that one and I would click always, but for now I'm just gonna click just once. That way I can just kinda you know, show you how you, I'm going back and forth between a Google one and a Samsung one. And there you have it. That's multiple ways. You know, we, we looked at maybe using the app directly for the edit activity. We looked at Nova Launcher using its activities. And then we also looked at a task or task to trigger that edit activity event. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.